Welcome to Collections. In this episode, we look at our Vancouver Barracks Cross and Candlesticks. In September 1938, George C. Marshall got orders to command the 5th Brigade of the 3rd Division, stationed in Vancouver Barracks, Washington. He would oversee 27 Civilian Conservation Corps camps located in Oregon and Southern Washington. Although Marshall's involvement with these camps was primarily in a supervisory role, he repeatedly emphasized the role of the CCC in preparing the young men for a position in civil life as a self-respecting, self-supporting citizen to the camp commanders. It was during this time he attended church services at the barracks in an abandoned warehouse, the altar fashioned with a simple wooden cross. In an interview conducted by Marshall biographer Forrest Pogue, the former Vancouver barracks chaplain Martin Pock recounted the story of replacing the wooden cross. He went out of his way to see that this building that I had could be made presentable, and he was interested in having proper appointments on the altar. We gathered up all the old brass fixtures from all the old quarters on the post and piled them into a room under his direction. And he took them into Portland, and then we had the cross and candlesticks forged from these old plumbing fixtures. And when we got them back, they looked pretty good, but there were a lot of little pockmarks. At first we polished, but the marks wouldn't disappear. Then we thought of just lacquering them. The general always took a personal interest. He always used to come to see how we were doing. It took over $200 worth of polish, and he finally said, Let's leave these marks in here. That's evidence that this is real brass, that we're not covering it up. This is the genuine article. He was so proud of that cross. Whenever we would have guests, he would bring them in. He would walk in my office and ask for permission to walk up to the altar and look at these items, and then just as proud as Punch say, this is what we did, we did it ourselves. It did a tremendous thing in building up the church attendance. This is the thing that the men had all worked on and the boss man had spearheaded it. After two years, Marshall left Vancouver for Washington, D.C., but the cross and candlesticks remained in the possession of Chaplain Pock, who stored them stateside when he served as chaplain with General Douglas MacArthur's Pacific Campaign. Pock's son, Daniel, who remembered collecting about four pounds of brass for the items as a nine-year-old, rescued and donated them to the Marshall Museum in 1997. In addition to providing Marshall and his fellow officers with an opportunity to mobilize, organize, and administer a civilian force in peacetime, Hogue also noted that Marshall's experience with the CCC gave him faith in the value and effectiveness of a citizen army and helped him become familiar with the civilian point of view in a way rare among professional military men. Marshall's work with the CCC provided him with valuable experience that he undoubtedly relied on when, as Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army, he was called upon to mobilize an army composed largely of civilians. 